Since yesterday, many people have been visiting the Arvada police station to honor Officer Beasley's sacrifice and also support other members of that department. Tonight, CBS 4's Andrea Flores on that story. Andrea, we know Beasley made quite the mark on that community. Jim, the memorial here at the Arvada Police Department is growing by the hour. You can see people stopping by at all hours of the day to share stories about Officer Beasley. And we've seen it all from laughter to tears as the community continues to process the loss of a man they call compassionate and kind. I had to read the name a few times just to believe, you know, that it was true. Eric Person is still in disbelief. His friend and neighbor, Arvada police officer Gordon Beasley, was killed in the line of duty. We're in the same neighborhood as the King Supers shooting earlier this year, and so it's fresh on everybody's minds. He says their tight-knit neighborhood in Boulder can't believe tragedy is hitting close to home yet again. I know his, his wife and his two boys really well and so just could not stop thinking about them. Throughout the day, people in Arvada stopped by the growing memorial outside the police department. His hellos helped me get through the day. Including present and former students from Oberon Middle School, where Beasley was a school resource officer. We're all really sad that he's gone now. He had always just make sure we were okay. Heather Florman, an Old Town Arvada salon owner, delivered dinner to police officers working around the clock. There's so much bad going on and um, why people do this, I just don't understand. Those who knew Officer Beasley well say he was more than just a badge. At the end of the day, he cared about people and that's what the job meant to him. I'm told all donations made to the Colorado Fallen Heroes Foundation over the next 30 days will go directly to Officer Beasley's family. Reporting live in Arvada tonight, I'm Andrea Flores covering Colorado First.